Hi everyone, I'm Tracy Patton. And I'm Kathy Bryan. And this is Women 2018. So we are We're on, a, on our adventure, our adventure across the country to interview women running for political office. This is an incredible year, isn't and it? And this is the year of the woman, and it's an outstanding time in the history of the United States because more women are running for, for uh, office, office than in the history of this country. Yes. And the majority of the women who are running are running for the first time. Is, is that exciting? It is so exciting. Yes. And we are here in Southern California in District 39 to interview Dr. Mai Khan Tran, who is running for Congress and who is a first time candidate running for office. So Dr. Tran, come join us. Well, and by the way, before I, we're in her office um, in Southern California and we're right by the ocean. Well, a beautiful and, mural <laughs> showing that we're by the, the ocean. So anyway, Dr. Tran, it's so great to meet you. Great to have both of it's you so here. It's so lovely to be here and to be here. It's so exciting. And your story is really, it is pretty incredible about how you came from Vietnam to this country. So tell us about that. Sure, sure. Well, you know. I, uh, I came to this country at the age of nine. Amazing. And I was part of the orphan airlift out of Vietnam. Oh, the orphan airlift, so yes. So I was put on um, the plane by a group of nuns and priests because my parents had dropped me off at an orphanage oh. prior to the end of the war. That was the only way oh. that we were going to get out oh. of the country. So we, dropped, we were dropped off at the orphanage, all four of us, and we were taken on the plane by the priests and nuns. And then to when I landed in the U.S., it was an American soldier who actually got onto the plane and carried me off. So oh. I was literally carried onto the American soil oh. by a soldier. Oh. Oh and it was yes. this soldier that really gave me this vision of what America is all about. Yeah. How great and kind and compassionate and welcoming. So one of the reasons why I'm running is because I have a five-year-old daughter. Uh -huh. I battled breast cancer twice. Yes. And after Amazing. that, yeah. I had to go through eight rounds of IVF for my beautiful five-year-old Gracie. Wow. Oh. But I'm worried that the vision of America that she sees right. is different, different than different the vision that yeah. I saw when I first came to the right. States. Yes. Right, right? Yes. right yeah. now, we are just at the time when there's a lot of, of just hatred and yes. bigotry yeah. and discrimination. Right. Uh, and I think it's really good for us to really stand up and make sure that we have a clear voice so that the America that my daughter and her friends are just the one that I know I love. Absolutely. Okay. And Dr. Tran, just a little bit more so so our audience knows a little bit more about you and how you got into medical school. I really, because I think the fact that you went through so much to get to this place right now is fascinating. And so about how, tell us about how you got into Harvard and what you had to do. Sure, sure. To I mean, Harvard is like the top of the the top of the colleges, right? Well, I think that I actually won the lottery just you because <laughs> yes. I was able to go to Harvard. Right. But it was because of the, really, again, the kindness of this, this country that I was able to have a very good education. Right? Yes. I went to a public school, mm -hmm. and we got to have a great education, but we also worked hard. You know, yes, my right. dad worked as a janitor when we yes. first well, came here. Yeah. We picked berries. Oh, yeah, so, and Dr. Dr. Tran, tell us just a little bit about that, too, about sure. you being in the fields with the migrant workers when you first came yeah. to Oregon. Well, after Oregon. we came um, to the States, where we went to Oregon, where there was the, the convent was there, and so we were uh, fostered out to a farming family, and we basically picked berries every oh. summer. Um, what an experience. Through, and, and it was such a, it really was a gift though. I thought that I it was, you. you know, this opportunity to be safe, secure, right. and work. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I worked like all of the other newly arrived immigrants, yeah. and we worked hard at whatever mm -hmm. opportunities we had. Right. So I picked berries, um, basically through middle school and high school. And then I worked as a janitor after I got into Harvard. Uh, that's uh, another that, part of the story. That. I mean, she worked. <laughs> as a janitor at Harvard to put herself through medical school. That is um, that But is, I also had, you know, good scholarships. I also yeah, had yeah, Pell Grants, But right? still, that's hard work, right? It, it was, I tell you, one of the hardest things yeah, I did is I'm cleaning sure. the bathrooms uh, of the the jock, <laughs> no. the jock dorms. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> okay, <laughs> now, there's a book right there for later. No. Yeah, <laughs> but Dr. Right. Tran, before we finish up here, Tell us the moment, I mean, on top of everything that you've done, as we hear about your story, your life story, 
tell us the moment that you're running, that you decided to run for Congress. I mean, I can't believe that you are on top of all this running. Well, you know, I'll tell you, it was also another little girl who really made me realize I have to run. And the story is that the day of the election, my mom and my daughter and I got dressed up and we went to vote for oh, the first a oh, female okay. president Real. of my mom's oh. life and the first president of my daughter's life. Oh, we were so excited. Amazing. Well, the outcome was actually very devastating. So I didn't yeah. want to, actually I didn't want to get into work the next day. Yes. But, you know, but I right. did what most women do. Uh -huh. We get up, we put on our coats, we right. do what we have to do to take care of the people in our family. Yes. So one of the first patients I saw that day was a child with a brain tumor whose family, mom is a nail shop worker, so they didn't have employer-based health insurance, but they were actually able to just get it because of the subsidies that was provided by the Affordable Care Act. Oh, okay, good. So, just seeing her that day, and I mean, her mom and I just cried together, because we realized that her future is gonna be really affected by all the changes that I know are gonna come. Right. And so that was when I decided, you know what, no more crying, we're gonna just start to fight. We're gonna right. fight. We're going to stand up and make sure that the people that we care about, like all the, the mm -hmm. children and the working families, really have a chance to have quality health care. So I am running for every child who doesn't have health care, for every mom who worries right. that right. the children in her family don't have good quality right. care, and for every woman who has experienced sexism and sexual violence. Right. Because I mm -hmm. think it's and time but for the women. And yes, I, I it is. It is the time. It is the time of the know, woman. One more thing. Do you know that even the past year, with all the things that we've gone through for healthcare, there's no female doctor in Congress. Right. And there you see. And, and there's she's never going to be the first female, first female first. doctor in yeah. Congress. There's been, there's been no yes. pediatrician but in Congress. And Dr. Fee. First, so many firsts. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Just so think of all the barriers we can break. Yes. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Absolutely. Yes. And, oh. I know. So excited. Excited. We are, for you. We so are so excited. excited for you. So, mom, you want to say one other thing? This is my mom, by the way. <laughs> Did you want to? Say, because we're going to well, wrap up. I wanted up. to say that here you have this busy practice, and you're willing to step out there and run for office. I'm so impressed, and I, I, it's such a, a a gift to our country. Oh, well, thank you for doing. saying that. Because yeah. so you know, good. the fights that are worth fighting yeah. are going to be fought with as much heart and steel as yes. we can. Right. And, and we now have is the time. The, the woman's perspective. Now is the missing. time. Now so is now the time. is the time, everybody. And we will continue meeting candidates like Dr. Mai Khan Tran. And thank you for taking the time. She took time out of her busy day to be interviewed by us. So thank you for that. Yes. And Amazing. to find out more about Dr. Tran, you can go to doctran2018.com. That's D O C T R A N dot com. And you'll see it in our show notes and on all our social media platforms. So definitely check out her story. Is uh, uh, just like I said, I was just so riveted. And and we are off, off for Kentucky next yes. week. I've never to, been. Tracy's never been. I have, but it's a beautiful state, and we're going to meet more candidates, women who are running for the first time, just like you. So yeah. before yeah. we uh, and and you'll find us on on women2018. Org and come along with us, you guys. Follow follow our adventures virtually, and we'll be we're on all the social media sites. You know what they are, so, you know, Instagram and and Twitter and Facebook and all of that. We will be out there. Dr. Tran's story will be out there, and all the candidate stories will be out there. And we will see you next time from Kentucky. Kentucky, and remember. Oh, remember! Don't vent. Vote. vote. Right, Dr. Tran? Absolutely. Everyone say it with us? Counts. Let's do it one That's more time. Remember, don't, don't vent, vent, vote. Every vote counts.